Welcome to the second part of the tutorial for the sound activated flash trigger for high speed photography. Here we will explore the different settings that can be made into the trigger in order to get different effects from the flash. If you select settings on the home menu using the center enter button, you can then change the settings for various things in the trigger in order to get different effects on the flash. And when you're done with the settings, you can click back to main menu. And you'll be done. First, you're going to try to set the sound delay on the trigger, which will affect the time delay between the sound received into the trigger and when the trigger will activate the flash. We'll set that at 20 milliseconds. Next, we'll set the strobo delay, which will take effect when we activate the strobo function of the trigger. This will affect the amount of delay between each flash blast during one strobo session. And the strobo counter will be how many times the flash will activate during one strobo session of the trigger. And then when we're all set, we click on back to main menu and we're ready to go. We can select between the single shot, the multiple shot, and strobo shot, depending on which one you will need.